Oh boy. Pretty sure that's gonna break. Let's get the big guns out. Look at that. I got lucky. All right. catch up a little bit shall we last week you may have seen me working on the cj7 and we removed these terrible old nasty hinges uh, off the windshield frame we also removed them off the hood as well i don't know if i showed you guys that or not but uh you can see they're in terrible shape they're they're just aftermarket chrome hinges the chrome is peeling back they're rusting like crazy they're froze up in some areas and it was just a disaster they also come with terrible terrible hardware um, not that the Jeeps had good hardware from the factory in the first place, but this Allen head set made it even worse. And I'm so glad to have these off. So uh, are we gonna clean these up and use them again? Hell no. But what I did do in preparation for all that is I ordered some used parts online on eBay uh, for the CJ7. So I ordered uh, some windshield um, frame hinges some hood hinges and some other things. And what does that mean? Well, that means that I've spent all weekend sanding, priming, painting, and clearing these parts, which just it took, a, took a bit of, uh, of a bit amount of time to get this all done. But I cannot argue with the results as they look awesome. And, uh, and I'll tell you how I did it. Um, you will kind of go over what I used. Let's, let's put it that way. But these things are shiny, the paint went on well, and they're ready to install. And uh, I probably should have done a little um, before and after, but I didn't, I just kind of went after it this weekend. So we painted the new windshield hinges, which are in good shape, lower door hinges, uh, hood hinges. These are actually what goes on the back of those. And then the cow grill. I also painted the little brackets for the windshield on the inside black um, and got all that taken care of so it looks great. And then all of the hardware is also, is also supposed to be uh, body color. And remember what I'm trying to do with the CJ7 is I'm trying to like get it back to as original as possible within reason uh, and get it back on the road. You know, we're not doing a full restoration, but we want it to look pretty nice. So I went ahead and painted all the hardware. Most of this is brand new stuff other than the hood bolts, which are uh, actually hex. And then you have your uh, Torx bolts for everything else. So what did I use to do all this? Well, I'm very, very impressed with automotivetouchup.com. The thing is you can go on there, look up your vehicle and look up your paint code. When my paint code for the CJ7 is 1B and you can order paint in a spray can now this is just a base coat. It's not like paint it and forget it. Uh, you do have to order a clear coat as well when you work with these guys, as far as I can understand at least. It's a two-step, two-stage paint process, but it's awesome. I've never had spray paint come out this well. Now I could uh, wet sand this and, and buff it out even more and get it even better, but they're hinges, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but we can, you know, we'll take it over there real quick and give you guys an idea. Let me use the other one on how well this stuff came out. So it matches pretty darn good. Remember that this paint is super old. So, you know, there's going to be some deflection there, but here we go. Not bad, right? You know, it's not 100% perfect, but it's real, real close. So I'm very, very happy with that. So I wanted to show you all that at the start of the video today um, and I'm gonna move some things around because uh, I'm gonna try to make a short video today that never does work out well I have a whole lot of things going on um, but my goal today is to remove the grill 
off of the uh, CJ7 because we're not putting that one back on, although it looks great on the Typhoon, you know. Um, <laughs> but this guy, I think I'm going to paint it after painting those and see how they came out and all the chips on this one. I think what I'm going to do is try to paint this guy. So first things first is I've got to take it apart. Um, I've got to pull the uh, hood off. Hood, that's what it is. It's a hood. And uh, kind of get to draining the radiator. So let me do all that. And then uh, we'll go step by step and see if we can't remove this grill. Got the radiator drained. And I only slightly made a mess. Believe it or not, it could be worse. There's a quarter of that bucket's got fluid in it. So one thing I learned is the petcock is on the bottom of the radiator, not coming out the side of the bottom, very, very bottom. Um, let me see if I can show you all that. It's like right in there. I'm sure there's no light, sorry. But now let's pull this radiator out. It's a four half inch bolts, one here, one here, and obviously two on the other side. It won't be too difficult to pull out. Let me zip those off and we'll pull the radiator out. There we go. I said, oh, damn. Had a feeling. Now that I've created that mess, which is not too bad, let's go ahead and pull the bolts off that connect the grill to the fender, which if you look down in here, I've got the light on it. I'm hoping you guys can see it all, but there's three half inch bolts on each side. One, two, three. This has been replaced. I'm nervous about this one, but let's zip them out. Well, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what they did down here. It's a bit of an interesting conundrum. I think it's actually notched, though. I can't get the bolt off. So either that's going to be notched and be good or... I'm gonna get something out to cut it off. Oh well, let's see what we can do on this side. Uh oh, that's probably what happened to the other one. Also notched. Interesting. Okay, so these lower bolts are notched, probably locators, and then I think the uh, screw that holds them in broke. So, well. Mostly, I got three bolts left. All right, next, we're gonna work with these guys right here. These are the rods that hold the, the grill in place as far as going front to back. Should just be able to bolt back this guy off here. Nine sixteenths, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. All right, this thing is kicking my butt already. But the last thing we got to do is a body bolt right here in the center of the grill. If you look, it's right there. It's a 5 8 and from what I've read, it's almost known always to break. So we're gonna try to do it by hand with a wrench and hopefully it won't break. This Jeep has been kind to me with some of the other stuff. So let's see what we can do here. Please don't break. Oh boy, pretty sure that's gonna break. Oof, mm. that ain't moving at all. Let's get the big guns out. All right, let's see what we're working with, with the big guns. It's probably gonna break, or, and what it does is it breaks the bolts above the darn thing. Look at that. I got lucky. All right. 
Well, look at that. Cool. No way. Ugh, I'm winning. The, the, the tide is turned in my direction, is what I'm saying. Uh, now, I just got to fish the uh, wiring harness out from this side all the way to that side. And I did just see a ground right here, so I'm going to look for some more. If I find any more, I'll let you guys know. Looks like they're grounds for the headlights. And uh, yeah, you got one on each side uh, for the headlights. So I'll unscrew those grounds. These are just held in by these plastic clips here. So we'll just move all that stuff over. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh oh. Oh, there's a bolt on the other side. 10 millimeter on the other side of that screw. Or it seems to be. The cops are coming. Hey, don't lose this, okay? Here's the other one. Don't lose it. Alright, so now... Let's see if I can get these off here. Here's that one. Mm. Damn, that hurt. Careful with that. It's a sharp edge. I'm okay though. All right. And if I didn't say at the beginning of this video, I had already pulled the headlights, buckets, and the uh, Turn signals out a long time ago when I was working on the paint. So, just take your time, work your harnesses out for the love of God. There. Now, there we go. Hot damn. Hot damn. As rough as that was, which wasn't that bad actually, I'm pretty sure we got off pretty easy uh, because that center bolt came out like it was supposed to, although it's off center at the moment. Um, we got it out and uh, looking at this, you can see that these captured nuts down here, well, they're, they broke off of rust, understandably. Um, so I'll have to figure something out for that, but, if we look at, stay there, if we look at the fenders, they are notched. So that's nice to know. That's uh, it's really nice to know because it helps get it in line and things to that extent. Yeah, so the grill is off, which is, that's what we set out to do today. Like I said, I was going to try to do a short video today and I think I got it done. Um, now we can set it on the table, sand it and clean it and prepare it for paint and fix whatever else we have to fix, which is nice, but I can also get in here now and I'm gonna do a water pump and a thermostat and new hoses. And I might even, something in this area might go away, which doesn't matter in Texas, but does other places. Um, you know, and we're gonna try to fix, I think there's a valve cover leak and some things. And so while we got it off, we're gonna be working on it and painting it anyway. We can do some of the engine work, so that's what we're going to be getting into. So, all right. Well, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming along and checking it out. Thanks for figuring out how to remove a CJ grill with the fenders on, by the way, which I didn't know if it was possible or not. So it's nice to know that you can do that. So I'm very happy about that because I don't want to pull those fenders off at the moment. So, but we got all kinds of stuff. We've got a LS Swap Dodge Dakota 68 Nova Super Sport. Bel Air, Sonoma GTs, Truant Turbo, Dodge Dakotas, uh, Typhoons with Jeep grills. You know, we do a lot of fun stuff around here. So uh, consider hanging out with us. Please consider subscribing and hanging out with us. 
and uh, we'd love to have you if you guys already know if you've already subscribed thank you guys so so much uh i'm glad you shut it down early this week i might put this video out early i don't know if i do if i'm gonna follow it up with the video on saturday we'll see how much i get done i've got some parts to order and some more stuff to clean up and paint and all that stuff if you want to see the paint process on the grill let me know i think i'm gonna film it but i don't want to bore you guys to death so if you don't want to see it let me know that too so other than that, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at The Racer X Garage. Check out our merchandise at racerxgarage.com. And uh, I'm going to shut it down and see you next time. Until next time, you know the deal. Y'all be good.